Hey, what's up, yo? <clears throat> Today, um, I have something very nice to prepare for you guys in my kitchen, which is we're gonna be doing like a mahi mahi filet, which is a fish from salt water offshore. Um, the meat of this fish is very uh, firm and has a very particular flavor, I would say, like that. So, and not only this, we're gonna be preparing all of these fillets and then we're gonna put on cedar plank. So cedar plank is a piece of wood and then uh, we're gonna season it. We're gonna put all the oil uh, on top of the filet and then we're gonna put on sitting on the grill. So all the, the taste of the cedar wood, the cedar plank is gonna come out and go into the filet and then this is going to give a smoky taste type of um, flavor for this filet. So you guys will enjoy and uh, stay with me and let's head to the kitchen. Hey guys, we are here in the kitchen. Uh, my wife is behind the camera filming um, this video with me. So as I mentioned uh, in the beginning of this video out, outside, uh, we're gonna be cooking some mahi mahi filet today. Mahi mahi has a sweet and mildly uh, pronounced flavor. I would say like that, you know, to explain the taste of this uh, fish filet, this fish. The meat, as you guys can see, is very firm, you know, even like after cooking, when the fish is ready, it's very firm and it is very, very delicious, very delicious. So, and Today, I'm gonna be using this cedar plank. And uh, there is one video in my channel. I think you guys have seen this video. If not, please go there and watch that video. And if you like, hit thumbs up. So the video is uh, the Florida fishing, catch, clean, and cook. Uh, and I was like uh, grilling a fish filet that was a pump on a jack that we caught in Deerfield Beach, Florida. And we were using cedar plank as well. First thing what we need to do is to put this thing on the water. This is gonna help not to burn fast, you know, when we put on the grill. And then all the flavor when like the flames are over here underneath of the plank and then goes straight here to cook the filet that's gonna be on top of here. So the moisture and with the wood is going into the fish filet and it's gonna turn out smoky, delicious, and a really, really good and strong flavor. So first thing, I'm gonna put some water. Some people recommend to put maybe like a, in water for 15 minutes, 10 minutes, you know. I don't do like this, but if you guys wanna do, you guys can try it. The only thing I do is like I put water that time, and then for me, it's ready to start preparing my, my fish fillet. So uh, one thing that I would like to share with you guys as well is a video that uh, <clears throat> I did in um, Wilson Creek, North Carolina, uh, in Brown Mountain, which was a, we were there trying to go for uh, fishing trout, uh, but uh, we haven't had many luck over there. But was amazing. We had some drone footage there. We had some like awesome. We spent the whole day there, like in many areas of the creek, walking around in the water. You know, fishing in the water with the weather zone. Uh, was uh, me and a friend of my. Uh, his name is Aurelio, but here in the U.S. we call him Leo. Uh, he is from Brazil. Leo is here in the U.S. I would say, pretty much. Uh, for uh, like uh, his 54 years here in the US. So it's a long time, long time, long time. And uh, today he got a company and, uh, and a website called GoFishingBrazil.com and Leo, he organized a trip to Brazil in South America in the Amazon state where they gather a group of people here in the US and Canada, people from everywhere actually. And he takes this group straight to Manaus, which is the capital of the Amazon state. And they go for 
at least four to five days fishing there. All the beautiful fishing, like uh, the, beautiful, the beautiful of the Amazon forest and then fishing in that place is like amazing, really amazing. So Leo was there in the Wilson Creek with me and uh, check it out some of the, the videos and some of the footage that we did there once we are here um, cooking this um, Mahi Mahi filet. Yes, we are finally here in Wilson Creek, North Carolina. We left the house around 6 a.m. this morning. We got stuck on the mud in a property of somebody that we don't know. And a bunch of people were swing by there. So, but finally, now, after more than six hours, it's now 2.35 p.m. And we are ready to go fishing. But first, we're gonna do a fly. And there we go. Okay. Then we try cheese, Velveeta cheese. Mm -hmm. And then we try regular warm. And hopefully we get something. Yeah. So, there we go. It's a, it's a, which, which, which kind is that? This is a rainbow. Oh, look rainbow. like, this should look like rainbow. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a rainbow, brown, what do you I, I cast a lot here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you use for bait? Uh, what kind of bait? Let me see. A fish. little. A little uh, dry fly? A little. Oh, a little oh, fish. Oh, this one? This oh. one. Oh. Or maybe this one right here. 
Yeah. I, I catch Me. that one too. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. A little spinner. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've got one of that too. This okay. One. okay. Uh huh. Perfect. That's a good one. This one is really good too for, for, oh. for trial. Okay. For trial. Yeah. They bite a lot, this okay. brown trial. Uh huh. You know. Oh, that's, that's cool. Good. That's a nice size. Yeah. How are you going to cook it? Yeah. How are you gonna cook With it? The fries or something? Yeah. 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 That's oh, yeah. good. That's Tell perfect. Nice filet there. Yeah. That's a good size there. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I love it. Well, <laughs> all right. Maybe, folks, we get it. Maybe we will. I don't know. <laughs> we try. Right. Hey, good luck. Bye. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm not only with Leo, and I got oh, yeah. my wife here with me, who is gonna be fishing as well. She is with all the gears on it, and uh, we, we're gonna have a thank you, Leo. I think that lets me go further here. I think that we're gonna have a challenge today, and let's see who's gonna catch more. I'm already. <laughs> we do. You, we, you, we're gonna get it. Definitely. We're gonna yeah. get something here. I'm totally ready. <laughs> yeah, we saw a guy down below. They had a, I mean, nice size trout. Yeah. And we're gonna walk all this creek here, so we see. Yeah. Good luck. Stay with us. us. See you. Follow us. Bye. You know, you guys had seen that uh, my friend Leo and myself, we were here last time, but we haven't had any luck. So. One week later, we decided to come back. And we've seen some guys already catching some trout. So we stopped by this spot here. Uh, Leo is over there. I'm here, of course. And my wife is behind the camera, who is fishing with us today as well. So let's see if we can have some luck today. And we got everything here to fish, catch, clean, and cook at the creek. So, let's see. So yeah, this was our day. It's not our day. Now it's a, to be very precise, 5.28 p.m. We left the house 6 a.m., right? Yep. So, um, well, I think that was an amazing day. The morning situation that we went through with the truck, with the truck stuck in the mud and uh, trying to find somebody to help us to release the truck and then we can come back to the road to find the place to go fishing, to go fish trout. Uh, and then I think that we spent about three hours there. Three hours there. We and, waste three hours. Yeah. Got stuck in the mud. But I tell you what, folks, we'll be back. We will be back, but this is the place. This is the place. Even if we have to hire somebody <laughs> to give some hint, some knowledge about, you know, it's not knowledge, I mean, it just wasn't the day. Yeah. But we'll be back. Yeah. In the same place here, because I have a, no doubt in my mind that there's a lot of fish here, but you have to go different places, though. It's such a long, long creek. So we'll be back. There we go. See. There we go. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you like, hit thumbs up. You're gonna see myself and Leo from Rio here in this creek again. And please, subscribe, ring the bell so you're gonna get notifications when I upload the next video. And thanks everyone. Have a blessed weekend. Bye.
that's a good one when you're cooking fish fillet on cedar plank. So I've got some here in this uh, little container and then I'm gonna put all over the fillet right here. And you know, like this thing is gonna help to stick the, the, the seasoning on the, the fish, you know? So that's it. And then I'm gonna start with my regular seasoning. First thing, garlic salt. You guys have seen me using this before. So garlic salt, I'm gonna put a little bit. One that I really like, lemon pepper. And this lemon pepper gives like a good taste for everything, you know? I, I, really, I really like this uh, lemon pepper. We go with black pepper. And then, let me see what else I have here. I have the seasoning salt, I don't need that. Uh, white pepper, I like that too. You know with me, when you talk about pepper, you can put because I love this pepper. And then a little bit of paprika. Just a little. That's it. So the fish, the fish filet is ready. It's like just put on a grill, sit on top there, wait a little bit. And then like I've used this uh, cedar plank before and I was cooking fish the other day, I was cooking trout. And you guys are gonna be seeing a video coming out soon with trout fishing, catch, clean and cook. And I was using this cedar plank. So you see here like <clears throat> where you don't have this burn here around the wood, like here in the middle was uh, where the fish was sitting on top of this thing. So, and turns like this in the end. So this cedar plank is gonna turn out exactly like this but with the shape of the fillet that we are sitting here on top. So I'm gonna cut some slices of this tomato as well. Then I will sit on top of this fish just like that. Look that. I will squeeze a little bit of lime. And lastly, but not least, it's not everyone that likes cilantro, but I really like cilantro, you know? Let's sit some cilantro on top of these tomatoes. Look at this. Like the preparation, all the seasoning here around the cedar plank, the fish fillet, the tomatoes with the cilantro, and then we're gonna put on a grill, smoke it, and this is gonna be like fantastic, you know, like, my mouth is already blowing water. You guys know this. So follow me, let's go head to the grill. All right, so you guys can see here, my grill is already 500 degrees. So it's very hot. And then we're gonna sit this right here on top of the, the grill, you know? And then we're gonna come here, I would say like, within the next five to 10 minutes and check it out. All right, let's gonna check again. The grill is still with 500 degrees, which is very hot. Whoa, look that, look this. Can you all smell the taste from the camera? You know, because this is amazing. 
amazing let me split this over here first to see if it's already cooked what you guys think let me split this over here hmm I think that uh, if we wait for about five minutes more it's gonna be like fantastic all right fellas let's wait for more five minutes and we are ready to eat all right here's the fish straight from the grill on the on cedar plank so what I'm gonna do here is look this is cool right so you have the filet everything was burned around and then the area where the filet was sitting like still this the same as the beginning you know so let's gonna sit the fish here look at this chunk meat hmm You all want some? Yeah, I believe you guys want some. So let's have a try on this. And I'm gonna use my Denko fishing knife fillet for this. Look, look at this chunk meat of mahi mahi fish. And I'm gonna put everything in my mouth. <laughs> mm. All the flavor. That's amazing. Wait. The meat, like this, is very easy. Lean meat and like all the juice and the seasoning is in, in there it's like is retained by the, the filet you know and the flavor from the cedar plank it's already like embedded I would say like this in this fish meat mm. daily so I'm gonna put a little bit of lime here and uh, zoom in here you you're gonna see so let me cut look how firm is this meat you know and then let me squeeze a little bit of lime No words! <laughs> mm. My wife is behind the camera, she's looking at me like, and me. <laughs> I'm gonna give some to you, don't worry. I'm gonna give the whole filet for you. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I hope you guys like it, everything you saw. The Wilson Creek, you know, like we were there trying to fish trout, was an amazing place, the best, like a, one of the prettiest view I've ever seen before, you know, is a scenic view. And, um, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hit thumbs up if you like it, ring the bell so you're gonna get notifications for the next time. Subscribe and God bless you. Ooh.